Hi, it's me again, it's Sonny. Uh, we're back to Sonny's running her mouth. Uh, it's another one of the sections in the relationship uh, series that I'm doing. Uh, a commercial, for those of you who are new or don't know me, um, I'm a uh, transpersonal counselor, a certified hypnotherapist, past life regressionist, uh, metaphysician, mystic, teacher. And this is part of my teaching role, and uh, I, I love doing this, and I also love running my mouth. So um, if you want more information about me, or you want to talk some more, you know, uh, just go to my website, sonnyweiss.com, and my, um, can, how you can contact me is on that website. I am figured out how to put it on YouTube yet. Okay, so what I would like to talk about, uh, 10-15 minutes is um, independence. It's about the, one of the roles that we we play, and it's one of the major. It's one of the major roles, and sometimes it's a story. It's a story of our life is independence, and uh, I, I'm not talking uh, uh, about healthy independence. Okay, we all need to be have have some independence. We certainly need to do that. But most of the things that I talk about is is when you're at one or the other extreme um, of the, the line, and and that's what gets us in, in, into trouble. If you don't have any independence, then then you're you know you're a rug. Uh, and if you have too much independence, you're going to be really miserable too. So. This is a role that that we often play, or a lifestyle, and so the um, the basis of, of of independence is uh, not not to have to feel your feelings. It it, it comes from uh, unhealed heartbreak, or or, or jealousy, or, or sacrifice. Uh, it, it it's avoidance, so so you don't have to feel your feelings because. It, hurts too much and that's what most of these things that we do it, it, is we don't want to feel we don't want to deal with our feelings uh, and so we try to avoid the, the pain that's there um, read my notes. Uh, oh yeah that's what the the avoidance is is, is commitment okay and, and to the extent of, of your independence is, is the um, how much you don't want to get committed so you know, the, 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 the un emotionally unavailable, unavailable person is, is a person uh, who doesn't want to make a commitment. Uh, they, they keep thinking it's a commitment to other people, which in fact it is, uh, but they don't want to make a commitment to themselves, really. They're afraid. Um, they're afraid to get hurt. They're, they're afraid they don't know how to handle the situation. They, they've been hurt before. Um, and they don't want to get hurt anymore. So the more independent a person is, uh, the more they're going to be unable to, you know, to make commitments to themselves and to others. And part of the problem uh, with what the independent person is, and what they're going to say is, uh, I need to do this uh, myself uh, because otherwise it's not going to get done right. Because they don't want to depend on anybody else. Uh, you know, if they depend on somebody else, uh, that other person may let them down. You know, but independent person, people have uh, a lot of trust issues too, where they've been betrayed, abandoned, so they have trust issues. And, and so they don't want to feel that feeling of abandonment. They don't want to feel that feeling of betrayal. Um, it hurts. It hurts bad. Uh, and I, th I think in, in one sense, the more extreme any of our avoidance behaviors are, uh, the, the more sensitive uh, that we are, are to pain. Some people seem to be, uh, well, the healthier you are, the, the better you're able to ha handle pain. Uh, because the, you can't get through life without pain. Anybody tells you to do that, they're lying to you, pain. definitely. Uh, but we can learn to deal with pain. We can learn to live with pain, we can learn to deal with it, and we can learn to minimize pain, and we can also learn how to perceive it differently. That's something too. Um, but the independent person, they, they, they don't want to feel pain, 
They, they want to disconnect and disassociate with anything that can give them pain. So, so they stay and do everything themselves uh, so they don't get, get disappointed uh, w with things. And it, it puts a barrier between them and, uh, and other people so that they, they don't have to owe them anything. Uh, they, they can't receive. And, and if you cut off your emotions to, to pain, you're going to cut off your emotions, you know, to pleasure too. So th they're not getting, they're not receiving uh, either emotionally, and um, that, that makes them feel empty and hollow inside. And they don't want to feel that empty and and hollowness inside. And uh, often they will, um, you know, run as fast as they can. Uh, they, they've got time to do this. They're not connected with other people. They're not dealing with other people. Uh, and, and so they, they have more time to do this, but, but they're runners. They're, they're going to, as soon as, soon as something starts getting, you know, somebody gets close to them, I got to, they're going to run because they don't want to, they don't want that commitment uh, and they don't have the courage uh, to see it through. And then maybe learn something about themselves. Um, the, the independent person uh, is going to, to do things on, on their own. And then they will take on a, a tremendous amount of responsibility. I'm not saying they're lazy uh, or anything like that. Uh, they take, often take on tremendous responsibilities. And uh, they'll do things for you, but it's going to be their way. And they don't want your help because that's going to get in their way, and then they're going to have to deal with your emotions, and and it's just they don't want to feel anything. They don't want to feel anything, and and so um, they do that to stop feeling, and 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 that's a terrible way, to, you know, uh, because then you got that empty hole in you, and they definitely don't want to feel that empty hole. No. It's like that empty pit, you know, that hole in their heart, that hole in it, wherever they feel themselves at, the gut, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they're very unhappy. And and they'll even, you know, cover up their unhappiness uh, to, and lie to themselves by running as fast as they can and keeping their lives full of whatever. Um, but it's not people. It's not having emotional um things with people uh, and if they do you know when they relate with with others they do it always on on their terms uh and, and, and in ways that, that makes them feel good about themselves but they still are not going to feel it also brings up um competitiveness you know, because they're going to be so good uh, at, at what they do. Independent people like to be really, generally speaking, uh, have a tendency towards uh, being perfectionist. Very high standards. Nobody else meets up to the, their standards. Um, probably, you know, they're not real good with compliments. Uh, and they're certainly not good, you know, particularly good with supporting people. Uh, because if they support them, then they've got to get involved with them and uh, make some commitment to them. And they don't want to do that. Um, my hurt, life hurts. Can't get away from the pain, babe. Can't do it, can't do it. Um, so they do this competition. They didn't even realize that they compete with people, but they do. Um, because that makes them feel better about themselves. Everything is, is with independent people. Uh, there's an undercurrent of, of competition and winning. Winning. It's important to win uh, with them. So, but, but again, you know, they win, it, it's, it's a disassociation uh, or, or a distraction. So they don't have to deal with those feelings. Not a good way to live. And, and it, hurt, you know, it hurts the other people around you um, because, of, of course, low self-esteem. Um, and they don't understand that, that they have something to give to other people, something that other people want. Uh, they want their love, the other people in their lives. You know, 
these are the I can say these are these are the emotionally unavailable people in our lives, and they they don't get it. They don't get it that they mean something to us, uh, that they have something to contribute. They're they're important, but but they they want to do it over here by themselves. They, they don't want to be part of of the group. Um, because they, they might get hurt. The, the, the expectations are unrealistic. So the independent person really can't commit to themselves. It's not that they can't commit to me or you. Um, they don't trust themselves. They don't. Uh, they, they don't realize that they could, they could deal with their fears. Um, and if, if they didn't keep setting themselves up by pushing everybody away, um, they would be loved. But they don't want anybody to love them because they're so independent. And I got the wall, Jesus, you know, these people put up walls that are, you know, 50 feet high. And I'm good at walls. I mean, I'm a four in numerology. I'm the master, I'm 24, I'm a master builder. I know how to put up some serious walls. But I don't do any more. I take, you know, I, I used to do that when I was younger. Uh, now, I do my best to break the damn things down. Uh, certainly with me and, and helping other people take down their walls. You know, I'm, I'm in the demolition now, not, not building walls. So the, the independent person is, is afraid of commitment. And when you're afraid of commitment, you're, you're afraid that you can't handle the situation. You can't handle it. Um, you lose yourself. Uh, it all goes back to the same thing. You know, if I love you, if I open myself up, if I'm vulnerable, uh, which you have to be, in, 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 uh, certainly in a uh, committed partnership basis, be vulnerable. Uh, and, and, and if, I, if I'm not independent and I don't keep that wall up, then, then you'll see who I am and maybe you won't like me and then you'll reject me. And um, that's going to hurt a lot. So I'll just put the wall up and reject you and be independent, and then I can control my own pain. And I can cut myself off totally from you sometimes. It's amazing to me sometimes when clients come in and I'm, I'm trying to you know, do some modalities, uh, metaphors of magic and NLP and EFT, these different modalities that I use to help people. And I say, well, where do you feel it at? I don't know where do you feel it I don't feel it at to my head. Uh, I had one patient that was highly, highly educated, successful person, and I asked them where their soul was. And they told us in their head. Um, I thought that'd be very interesting. A person ever, you know, told me that their soul was in their head. Of course, they were a little emotionally cut off. Uh, but what you do if you find yourself, you know, to have these issues, you have to start working on your trust issues. You have to take some chances. Uh, you got you, you, you got to start feeling those feelings. And one way to do that is, is to stop uh, stuffing them. You have to experience them. Oh, you have to experience the pain because you've got this pain stuffed down inside of you uh, most of the time that, that's wanting to get out and, and something will trigger it. If I have a relationship with you, uh, how many times a song plays and you just start crying and you don't know why the hell you're crying. Uh, it's triggered. It's triggered something that's stuffed down in some old pain that, that, that's stuffed down inside of you. Uh, so I know this is, you know, Sounds silly, but damn, it works. Um, when when find yourself some space where you you know when when you're totally alone and uh, cry when something comes up. Don't don't keep stuffing it. You know we were told you know, have to, especially men, um, you know, we have to stuff our emotions. Uh, big boys don't cry. You're an adult now. Don't cry. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you something to cry about. I'm gonna see something to cry about. I'm gonna something to cry about. Uh, and and feel that and, and and let it come up and 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 
yell and scream and and rally, uh, you know, against God. Uh, don't worry about that. I mean, he's got some hell of a set of shoulders, and uh, besides, uh, he sees everything anyway. So what difference does it make? Uh, he loves us no matter what. He's in unconditional love, and that's what we're all here to learn how to do. I'm not going to punish you. Uh, but feel the feelings. You've got to discharge them. You have to discharge them. And then some of the old stuff uh, that you may have that, that comes up, certainly there's um, ways that, w that we can discharge that. Uh, uh, but feel them don't let them st start to come up if you feel them in your privacy if you feel them um when they're when you're doing it um then you, then you're not going to to have uh, the resentment a, a lot of this stuff when you get into this uh independence and you don't feel your feelings that's when when anger and and resentment builds up and and well you want you want to kill love happiness anger is really a great weapon i'm telling you mm, come in with that sword and cut everybody's head off uh, that that's a great weapon uh so feel your feelings and, and you will find that that if you've been one of these people who, who's uh, you know been independent and you're stuffing your feelings and you don't feel your feelings you're cutting everything off that if you start to allow yourself to feel those feelings uh, even as difficult as, as it is, um, it, it, after a while, it, it won't keep coming back. It won't, it won't be as tense. And, and you know that, you, that you're going to be able to get through it uh, and, and you can discharge it. That doesn't mean you take this out on somebody else, okay? Uh, because that's often what's going to happen. When, when you stuff your feelings and you don't feel them, okay, something's going to come up and wham, you know, you blow up. On, on something that, that's totally innocuous. And, and, and then you take that off on, on somebody else and scares the hell out of them, okay? Uh, and then they have to go back and apologize why, why, why you did that. Uh, we're pack animals. We're supposed to be interconnected. We're supposed to work with each other. We're supposed to support each other. Um, we all need to be loved. We need your love too, okay? If you're an independent person out there listening to me, we need your love. You have value. We all have value. You just, you're good enough. Yeah, yeah, you're good enough. Um, and and you, you're only hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. And I'll, I'll show you another thing about independent people. Um, they're often right fighters. They're, they're, they're right fighters. They have to be right. And, you know, they, they, they'll keep going uh, no matter what the cost is, no matter what the cost is. So um, independence is about our, our, our inability to com really to commit to ourselves. It's not just committing other people. We've got to commit to ourselves that, that we're okay and, and that we're not perfect and, and neither is anybody else. Uh, and, and we're going to fall down on our face and we're going to pick ourselves back up. Um, and, and, we, and we can work with other people. That's basically what it is. Okay. We can talk more about this. I said I'd keep it short. <laughs>